In this video, we will be integrating the MongoDB Atlas cluster with Google Cloud Compute Engine. Google Cloud Compute Engine is a virtual machine of Google Cloud. You call it as virtual machine or instances in some other cloud providers. And we will be integrating that uh, with MongoDB Atlas cluster. So let's see how it works. Uh, for this demo purpose, we will be using the VizLabs uh, lab account. And let's click on the start lab. Acknowledge this and this will take uh, less than a minute uh, to start the lab meanwhile let's check out the lab details so as i said we will be creating a compute engine along with a mongodb atlas cluster and we will connect that with compute engine to mongodb to work as a backend database okay we will perform this lab in us central one region uh, and the duration of this lab is 45 minutes in case you need more time extra time you can click on the plus icon here uh, to get a grace time period of 15 minutes okay so the account is ready let's click on open console and while you open this make sure that you remove your previous accounts that you have might used okay so let's remove that and this will be a fresh uh, page copy the username and password copy the username and the password okay and click on creating a compute engine vm so you need to acknowledge this and accept the terms and condition and then click on agree and continue. So I have done this and now I'm ready. So this is my home page of Google Cloud uh, Console and this is virtual machine. Let's click on create instance. So you need to provide the instance name which is instance uh, vizlabs that instance. You can provide anything. Just make sure to remember and select the right one while creating. So I have create, uh, named this and uh, region will be US Central 1 as we discussed and the zone will be US Central 1A. Uh, for this purpose, we will be using N1 uh, of machine type N1 standard 1. So let's see uh, N1 of machine type N1 standard 1. Okay. And we will change the uh, boot disk, uh, especially the operating system to Ubuntu and we will use the version as Ubuntu 23.04. And disk size will be 10 by default. Okay, so let's select and click on create. So this will take approximately two to three minutes uh, for it to create. Meanwhile, we can go ahead and create the MongoDB at last cluster. So click on this link, and if you already already signed up, uh, just you need to log out that. So we will see how this works. Okay. Uh, you, you can use the Google Cloud to sign up and I think this will land me into my previous account. So just need to log out this and click on Google again. So this time I will be asked to uh, provide the username and password. So let's provide that. Uh, just copy this and paste it with password along with the password. So once you are here, uh, you will be asked to uh, do some extra steps to make the account ready, which is like accepting the privacy policy and terms of condition. So accept that and click on submit. Then you need to fill the onboarding form. Uh, the goal is to learn the MongoDB. So wait for the next page to appear. Yeah, the goal is to uh, learn the MongoDB along with uh, the next question answering as you are completely uh, new to MongoDB. Uh, you can go ahead and select the programming language. So in my case, it is Python. And this is my, I'm not sure what type of data we'll be using and what type of application. So just click on not sure, not sure for both the option and click on finish. Once you do that, uh, you will be asked to provide the configurations of the MongoDB database, which you are trying to create. And we'll click on access advanced configurations. And we'll go with the uh, type as shared. This is a free one. And then select the Google Cloud with US East 1 lower region. And after that, just rename your uh, cluster to VizLabs cluster. Okay. So just use a name uh, of VizLabs cluster. Once this is done, click on create cluster. Now, uh, create cluster, uh, but you also need to create the users along with it. And the password is already given. So I'll copy this password and 
put it into a new tab uh, URL window just to use it another time okay and the user is now getting created and you need to authorize from the EC2 instance external IP address so copy this IP and uh, paste it the IP address here you can provide the description as uh, GCP compute engine GCP compute engine and once it is done uh, you can add this entry below okay and the user is also uh, being created so let's finish this you can go to overview directly okay seems like uh, it is getting loaded while the cluster is already being deployed uh, let's load the sample data the sample data will take at least uh, five minutes to load meanwhile we can perform another steps of uh, connecting the db cluster with compute engine so we just refresh this uh real instance page and click on ssh once you click on ssh it will ask you to authenticate uh, while some backend processes are going on just wait for that to be completed meanwhile you can go ahead and check if your data is getting loaded so yes they are deploying the changes it will take some time okay the ssh uh, wants the authentication to be done so it will verify automatically and once the authentication is done you will get the terminal to perform the commands okay so we need to just update and upgrade the machine so just paste the both the commands together copy from the wizlet console and this will take around five minutes so let's uh, wait for this to be completed also there's another process going on which is uh, loading the sample data into my mongodb at last cluster so once uh, the download has been completed it will ask you to provide your acknowledgement to continue so this is going to take some time to prepare the database and the other things on setup uh, once that is done we need to install the mongo cli tool so just download that tool first let the command be ready will take some time okay if you see this page just click on enter and now download the mongo cli once you have downloaded you need to install that uh, paste this command to be installed and if you see the installation has completed uh, just paste another command which is mongos dash dash version to know whether mongo cli has been installed successfully or not so you will be able to see the version 1.10.6 and this means it is successfully installed now we will head here uh, to see if the deployment is completed maybe just try refreshing once and seems like it is still deploying the data not a issue let it complete meanwhile we can connect this just click on shell the first task was to uh, install the mongo cli which we have completed and let's connect the cluster with a uh, compute engine so copy this command and it will ask you to provide the password provide the password which you have copied earlier and paste enter the connectivity will take some time and also you will be able to see a screen like this okay now once that is done uh, let me see if my data load is completed i can go over the details and see so the deployment is still going on the sample data load is going on so we will wait uh, for this to be completed uh, but my cli is ready and i have connected my cluster the data load is going on so we'll just wait for the other steps to be completed before we proceed so let's run uh, one of the command to change the working collection so it has switched to db sample and we will try to query the command to find some documents and seems like we are following the steps so far so good let's paste another command to put the query filters and that seems to be completed and last one is to uh, generate the total count 
So one four seven two is the count. Okay. So we have now completed this lab. Uh, the next part uh, is to terminate the MongoDB Atlas cluster. So after you have completed it, you need to terminate. So how to terminate? Uh, just go to database on the MongoDB page and click on those three dots. So let's see. Uh, let me go to database. Okay. So the, the deployment is still in progress, but I think we can terminate it. Uh, just need to provide the name. So the name of the cluster was this labs cluster. Terminated and then you can go ahead and validate the lab. So let's check on the validation part to see if we have completed all the steps. So just click on validate my lab. And yes, you have completed this lab successfully. So once you have completed that lab, uh, just simply click on the end lab. Okay, I hope this lab has been informative for you and please submit your feedback. Thank you. Wits Labs, success certified.